just a mini review of the two products that I've tried so far from Happy Skin. Happy Skin is a Filipino brand that has been making the waves because of a lot of good reviews, endorsements as well from different celebrities and bloggers. If you purchase the mascara for $899, there is a free liquid eyeliner. So why don't we go right ahead first? So I'm going to put on my princess. There. Instant princess in two seconds. <laughs> A princess in two seconds. So this is the I am the one mascara. So the brush looks like this. I curled my lashes before this. You see the Shuimura eyelash curl. <gasps> so this this happens quite often for me. This is the Bioderma Micellar Water. So now I messed my makeup. I'm just gonna fix it. So I'm gonna go right ahead and apply mascara on the other side. Um, this is a review about the mascara, so let's not focus on my eyeshadows. Okay, so I do suggest that you be extra careful because this happens to me a lot. I curl it first, and it just it's 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 lengthening, so. It can reach high up to your lids. So you can see there that there are some small, very small fibers that add up to extend my lashes. It actually looks like a little stubby at first, but just work up the brush. Work on brushing it some more to like separate them. I make sure that I don't go back into the tube right away so as long as there is still some product that I can work on I try my best not to and it's it's not about the formula of this being clumpy it's actually not it's a semi wet formula but I just know that something like this will dry up eventually so I just don't put a lot the next thing that might might happen is that it can look really gunky and thick and clumpy Okay, I made another mess. And I just stuck my eye. I bought this in May 24, so it's been a month of using this. But I went to the store and tried it. I know it's not a very sanitary thing to do. To like use the mascara on your lashes but I tried my best to put it just in the tips of my lashes because I, 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 I have no way of finding out if it's good I went ahead and I was super thrilled because it lengthened every lash every every lash I think I'm like whoa I was like super super amazed so I went ahead and bought it also because they were on a promo for a free I am here to stay liquid eyeliner. The review for that coming in a bit, but this one first. The first time I used it at home, I thought it wasn't as lengthening as I thought it would have been. It wasn't working in the same way that the tester works. I thought that's odd. Maybe it's better if it's a bit dry. And then I realized how easy it is to remove in water. You don't need warm water for this. You don't. Because you can actually remove it by just facing the shower. Like leave it for like three minutes running. And when it's all soaked, you can notice some of the glue-like products coming out. Like kind of peeling it off. Smudge proof, sweat proof, tear resistant, and sebum resistant. So it's, it's, it just says it resists. It's not waterproof. And then I tried using my Bifesta and it 
I've noticed that you need a little bit of time to soak it with cotton first before it gets removed but using water is a lot better it's a lot faster taking it off using water and just soak it as, as I've said three minutes under the shower if you don't have time for a shower you, you only have a sink just keep on washing your face and flooding it with water, water and you will notice that it starts peeling off and I also went to the gym once with like the worst worst kind of temperature I've ever tried because that time the air conditioning was busted and imagine body jam class which runs for about 55 minutes of cardio dance in the temperature of Bikram yoga so it was quite hell it's almost like hell this mascara just lived up to expectations it did not fail me at all another point in time I attended body jam class and I also attended body combat class after that so that's about another 55 minutes of cardio and it's like a mixed martial arts kind of cardio and then so that's about roughly two hours and it didn't it didn't move it didn't smudge it didn't leak it didn't flake at all it's it's there and even if I touch it it doesn't transfer but I'm not so sure if you rubbed your eyes that it would still stay put I don't think it would because the formula just gets loose and gets a little bit easier to remove when you already have moisture in it if you're someone who usually scratches your face a lot or your eyes or rub your eyes a lot I don't recommend you use it. Happy Skin gives you like a really really nice vibe. It reminds me a lot of the quirky, funky, out-of-the-box names of Urban Decay and also because it's purple. So it says it instantly lengthens with Japanese fiber and it does lengthen. If you are someone who wants to go into a dolly-eyed look and you want it to like really lengthen your lower lashes, this is the formula that I would really really recommend. Second is that it gives volume and curl with a maximized brush technology. I don't particularly see it volumizing. Maybe it maintains the curl of my lashes after curling using my uh, eyelash curler. It stimulates growth in healthier lashes with the Swearkia Japonica extract which is actually an ingredient that stimulates growth of hair or promotes hair growth and maybe through time when you start using it I think the intention is that it will improve the thickness of your lashes um, effortless removal with just warm water and as I've mentioned it's like amazing it just water is a lot better to use than makeup remover for this one so let's just go ahead with the I am here to stay 24 hour waterproof liquid eyeliner. It's a felt tip applicator. It can get dry too fast and then you need to push it. You need to push it to just make sure that some product comes out. And when I go back, of course I can't really push too much when it's in my eyes. It's like it's a different thing because it's a different skin. What I do is that I just push it, push it, push it and then I make a mess of it. The formula, it doesn't crack, it doesn't leak, it doesn't fail you. But it's the applicator that I don't like. And some products, they just stay put but they crack. This one doesn't. They have launched a new one which was a brush tip applicator. I would be excited if I can try the, the replacement for this or the other applicator for this. What are my thoughts on this Happy Skin Mascara and Liquid Eyeliner? I'm happy with it. It's something I would recommend to my friends, especially the mascara. The I Am Here To Stay has a very good formula. No smudges. It stays on perfectly even with, with 12 hours of work and then gym time afterwards, it stays on. For you working girls out there, this is like a really good formula, but you might want to check out the new release which is already in a brush applicator because that would give you a more perfect winged eye look. Like this one is made in Japan and this one is made in Korea. The eyeliner is made in Korea and and then it's a Filipino brand. So they, they like organize these manufacturers and then they keep true to, to the source. I would love to see more of the eyeshadow palettes because 
from what I know, they all they only have one eyeshadow palette. I would I want to see more of those cheek palettes, like maybe bigger ones. And I wish that they would come out more because they seem to be doing a pretty good job with this mascara and with their liquid eyeliner. So best wishes to you, happy skin. I do wish that you make us more proud than than you already are doing. So that's my review on Happy Skin. I hope you like this video. I will keep on releasing some of uh, the other products that I've tried so far and I hope you also like my princess headband. This is from Tickles. This is just I think 35 pesos or what. It does a great job of making you look like a princess in 2 seconds. So there you have it. Thanks for watching my review and stay tuned for the next review. Bye!